Hey everybody, welcome to Click3D. This is the program where we're gonna be talking about photogrammetry and how you can use nothing more than just a simple digital camera and some software to create some really, really nice 3D models. Uh, my name is Eugene Lisho, I'm a 3D forensic analyst and I've been using photogrammetry for years now. Uh, I've been teaching it, I've been using it in my casework and I really believe that photogrammetry is an amazing technology because it allows you to do so much with very, very little. And, you know, some people maybe, you know, don't consider themselves photographers, but um, you have to remember, you're taking photographs to reconstruct these models. And so it's based on the quality of your photographs. So if you have, you know, a good digital camera, and even on a lot of the just, you know, regular phones and things like that, there's little apps now that allow you to control um, things like the exposure and, and uh, you know, shutter speed and ISO settings. So, you know, download an app, play with it a bit and get to know your camera. It's uh, really, really important. So the first thing that, uh, the first setting that I think is really important is gonna be your shutter speed. And so if you have a very fast shutter speed, it's great because you're gonna get a, 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 an image that's uh, with very little blurring or very little shake. So here in these series of images, uh, you'll see that the one on the left is at 1 500th of a second. And so it's a nice crisp, image uh, of this woman jogging and it's sort of frozen uh, in time there. You don't see much blurring at all. But of course, if we reduce the shutter speed to 1 15th of a second, now we start getting problems. Well, obviously this would not be a model that you could reconstruct very well. Now, of course, um, we, uh, when you're reconstructing a model, a, a lot of times it's, if it's of evidence or something like that, it's something that's still, it's typically not moving, but the photographer is. so. If you try to hold your camera steady and take a photograph and you have a very slow shutter speed, you're going to run into problems. You're definitely going to have blurring. So typically, uh, if you're holding the camera, once you get down to about 1 60th of a second or 1 80th of a second or lower, you're going to want to use a tripod because it's just not possible to hold it really, really, really steady. And try as you may, your breathing, you know, just pressing the trigger or the shutter uh, is going to cause uh, some issues for you. And this is also apparent with drones. So when you're flying a drone, and especially if you're not... Um, stopped at one one particular position. So some people will take video and they'll use the video to uh, reconstruct a model. But even, you know, if you're under windy conditions and the drone is moving around, you know, the camera might be gimbaled so it helps to stabilize the image. But um, if there's any movement, you may get a little bit of blurring. So you want to minimize that as much as possible. Now, the downside of increasing the shutter speed or making it faster is that you get less light, okay? So um, if you get less light, uh, then the, the photo doesn't come out as well. So you have to kind of balance those things out. 